Hello, my name is Greg Pallion. I'm with West Roofing Systems and welcome to another edition of Whiteboard Roofing. In today's episode, we're going to talk about commercial roofing 101 uh, and the trends that you should look out for um, going forward. Um, so what commercial roofing, it's basically a roof over a commercial building that they're you know, making a product, they're doing a service. Um, we're not talking about shingles or residential roofing um, at all in this video. Um, but wood roofing systems are being phased out. Uh, the built-up roofs, the tar and gravel roofs, they're just less cost-effective to install nowadays uh, versus TPO or the fluid-applied roofing systems. Um, and they could be a lot harder to maintain. So you're just going to see less and less of those moving forward. Um, what popular trends are building owners doing with their roof? Um, roofing systems that come with renewable warranty. Um, it's pretty easy to plan out that if you install a coating system with a 30 mil thickness of it, that's going to last 20 years. When that 20 years is up, you know you can power wash the roof, do some repairs, put more coating on it, and the roof renews again, or the warranty renews again. Just easy to plan out. There's no, there's no tearing off the roof. It saves a lot of time that way. But those are the trends. Uh, renewable warranties are what's going forward. Uh, what's the future of energy efficiency with commercial roofing systems? Um, for Ohio, with new construction, R25 is the minimum you're going to need to do. I know all these other big box retailers, the Amazons of the world, they're talking about carbon neutral. Uh, it's only going to trickle down into all the other commercial buildings. Um, energy costs could become more expensive, um, kind of like the uh, gas guzzler tax. So if you're not hitting that R25 or R40, whatever it's going to be, your carbon neutral even, 20 years, um, you might have to pay more for energy costs than everyone else who's sitting that mark. Um, why renewable warranties are cost-effective solutions to building owners? Um, really, it just eliminates the complete tear-off. Um, takes a lot of time to remove a whole roof. It's bad for the environment. You got to take it to a landfill, pay the landfill costs, then put a new roof over that, and then repeat it every 20 years when that new roof is, is over with. Um, it's a better solution to put um, coating or spray foam over a roof, um, get that renewable warranty, um, and it's just easy going forward. And for some of the big box retailers out there, it's easy to budget moving forward. You know that a, a silicone roof coating system could cost you know four bucks per square foot, and it's going to last 20 years. And in 20 years, you're going to power off the roof and pay the four dollars per square foot again, and repeat over and over again. Um, but no doing the tear off, um, no leaks. It's just easy to budget out, um, and that's that's a pro for some of the, the retailers out there. Some other trends and facts to look forward to are to be aware of. Um, on roofs with two roofing systems installed, um, sometimes the top roof is you know, in bad condition, but the one underneath it is pretty good. You don't have to remove or replace good insulation and remove and replace it with new good insulation. It could be a money grab um, if you're not careful. So don't remove the whole thing if there's evidence of good insulation um, on one roofing system below. Uh, per building codes, two roofing systems are the max that can be installed. Um, elastomeric roof coating systems uh, do not count as a roofing system. And the last thing is the R value of elastomeric coatings is zero. Well, according to manufacturers, it's neg negligible, negligible, uh, which basically means zero. So if you're looking for R value, that's not the way. Um, it'll certainly reduce your roof temperature through you know, reflectivity, but just you know, bottom line R value will not help you. Hope you learned at least one thing new today. If you want to learn more, there's a link to the blog post in the description. But I um, hope you learned one thing new today. I'll see you next time. Thank you.